the true crown of India. Not just via geographical position, but also via achievement across all spheres. Now the doors, first up, the doors have been opened for Jammu and Kashmir's Vikas, the road ahead. That's what Amit Shah or even on the floor of the house said. Corruption will be stopped. True development in the true sense will happen so that that sense of alienation can be done away with and true integration happen. India Inc. will hold an investor summit very, very soon. They are very bullish. Close on Ajit Doval's outreach, the India Inc. sentiment, the corporate sentiment is also important. There are huge investment plans and everybody has their own way of how they want to approach and they all have a connect with the state of Jammu and Kashmir or the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir and of course Ladakh as a region as a Union Territory. Interactions, roadshows will begin and foreign investors will be encouraged to come down. People from Singapore, Malaysia and across other countries will be invited and they have already evinced interest. Renewed focus on potential investment opportunities. The aim will be to speed up strategically important hydropower projects. And there will be focus on boosting terrorism, healthcare, energy sectors, which are all very vital and which is possible. So all of these aspects, all of these aspects will come through. Now, in fact, India Incorporated's Vikas Agenda is also out on plate. On the agenda is to boost sustainable industrial growth because the investments have to also bring in returns and they have to be sustainable and there are clear projects which are there. Nobody is rushing in to make a rash decision. It's all well thought out. Create a better investment climate and peace, normalcy is only going to further confidence. On the agenda, boost terrorism, infrastructure, connectivity, so that more and more of the Kashmiri people, Jammu people are included, included into the mainstream. On the agenda is to improve agriculture and